I'm telling y'all. You're drinking a cocktail a day earlier than the weekend. I know it's dark and you can't hardly see what I'm trying to show you. That's probably because I'm not sponsored. But these are pilkers. Right? The kind you get at the liquor store. I'm not sponsored. But I'm giving you an idea of what really, really is what we call the truth. These pickles, the whole truth right now. Because right now, I'm sipping on me a heavy cocktail. A triple nightcap. And uh, I got a little faded early than I expected. See, I wasn't trying to get faded that fast. So... Thank God I had enough sense that when I purchased my spirits that I got me a couple of bags of these at the same time. Like you really don't want nothing heavy to eat, but you need to some, you know, you need to do a little something, something that'll take the edge off. Just a little, a little taste, a little tonight. You know, just take the edge off just a little bit. You know, ain't nothing like a little salty pickle to help you, you know, while you're getting your little swerve on day before the end of the week. Because it's Thursday. I don't supposed to feel like this till Friday night. I'm one day in the head. So, to help me, you know what I'm saying? To help me help myself. See what I'm saying? These pickles, I'm telling you, they're the truth. Right? They come in a little fancy pack and they go good with a nice nightcap. Nice little swerve. See what I'm saying? Grown folks only types word. Near thing. So I just want to share that with y'all in case y'all were inebriated as me before the end of the week. You just still got one more day to go. Huh? You ain't trying to use up all your sick time. You done run out of personal days. You save me your vacation time for your vacation. So yeah, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to play it like, you know, fair and square. Show up when you're scheduled. Do right. Come home. Mind your good business. See what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to mind your business. Don't, ne don't never let nobody dictate your mood or your swerve. You was in control. You know. Don't do as I say. Don't do as I do. But do what you want to do. It's the whole point. This is just a friendly suggestion. See what I'm saying? Because I ain't in charge of none of y'all. Now, now I am one of y'all. Okay? Now, you're responsible. So them come over here talking about how, oh, the oracle had to have me on a swerve. Nah, I ain't had you on nothing. You doing it on your own free will. You grown up. That's that part. So now, back to the pickles. The pickles is the truth. Why that light went out while I was talking, I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to see if I could do something about that. The pickles is the truth. See what I'm saying? When you get your swerve on a day for time. Now, this is how I want to feel 
the entire weekend, not just Friday night when I get in. I want to feel like this the entire why? Because I had a stressful work week. Them folk, well, let's just put it like this. I thank God for a job. See what I'm saying? But you got to remember, do what's best for you. I always have a plan B and leave options open for yourself. Don't close no doors, right? Don't burn no bridges, huh? And don't tell nobody what you plan on doing because they're not going to appreciate it. They're going to stump all over if they don't do nothing but sabotage you. So what you telling them for, right? I don't care what it is. It could be the smallest of tasks to the most monumentous of achievements don't let nobody know okay because 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 folk ain't right these days nine times out of ten you're gonna get a folk that ain't right above the one that is so why take the chance is what i'm saying I mean, you could take the chance if you want to. That's totally up to you. I mean, I ain't the one to tell you how to do your business. I'm just letting you know how I do mine. Not that you need to know that. I just thought I'd share and care. Because, cause, you know, sharing is caring. And everything. I'm just saying these pickles is the truth. Now, I, I, I ain't trying to entice you. To do nothing. I'm over here minding my own business. Like I post to. I pray. I believe in God. I do. I believe in God. I pray to God every day. I thank God every day. Huh? He first. Right? Near thing. Like it post to go. Right? Now. I ain't saying I get on my knees all the time. I'm a work in progress. And I ain't ashamed to admit that. Right? Because I ain't caring about what the next person doing. I'm too busy worrying about what I'm doing. And could barely keep up to that. Why wouldn't I call them people they didn't want to take my payment? I'm out here trying to give good money away. And they wouldn't take my payment. Talking about I have a scheduled payment. So, therefore, I have to let that payment go through first. Then I can pay the rest of the bill. Ain't that some bullshit? Have you ever heard of such a thing? I'm telling you. Stuff backwards. It ain't used to be like that. You used to hear up and take that payment. Are you paying a day? Well, thank you for your payment. Is there anything else I can help you with? Would you like a re? A refinance? No. Okay, well, you know, you're welcome to one. If you ever want to call back, get you a refinance. You know the number. You can handle your business online or whatever. Hey, no, them days is gone. Them folk is telling you now you got to wait to your payment that schedule post and let it post first for you could pay the rest of your bill. Because they too busy trying to get their interest rate, right? They trying to too busy be getting that interest. And you wonder why somebody go to get them a nightcap with pickles on the side. See what I'm saying? So I ain't trying to be out here gaining all kinds of weight. I'm trying to reverse a little bit I do work on right now. And that's what I'm trying. That's my little business. Not sure. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because see, I'm a relatable person. See, y'all can't never say I ain't try to share or tell y'all anything about me, right? Because I don't want to hear that shit. Because I, I tell y'all about me, right? Just because I ain't over here showing the crack of my ass and titty don't mean nothing. All right? I just want you to know that just because I'm not out here... First of all, I ain't no titty bopping. If I was, it wouldn't matter because I still wouldn't do the shit. Because if I was going to do it when I was a titty bop, I would have done it then. So since I didn't do it then, what makes you think I'm going to do it now? 
See, that's what people don't get about the oracle. I'm just trying to tell you. Every time I turn around, they think they got me figured out, and they don't. So anytime you hear anything about me, you take it with a grain of salt. Just test that shit for yourself, right? All you have to do is watch this station, subscribe, and know these three facts. I made no claims. Everything I say is alleged. And these are my opinions. As you were. While well, I go back to my pickles and cocktail. See you on the next time. The Oracle.